Hey, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see, I moved now over to the Windows platform. I assembled a new PC, AMD 3700, and um, I put all the specs down in the description below so you can see it for yourself. And I'm now using different software and different workflow. Um, yeah, different stuff. I have to try and figure out a nice workflow for streaming, YouTube recording and making music, gaming and so on. And as you can see now I am using a voice meter as an ASIO driver which gives me the ability to um, yeah, route streams to different outputs. So I'm recording my uh, Bitwig stream here, I'm recording streams from the browser and my um, my voice from the microphone from my um, audience uh, external um, audio device and yeah I can use it to route it to some different uh, yeah points in the computer maybe I want to have a sound on the headphones or I want to record it or something like this so this gives me the ability exactly to do that and I'm also using now OBS as a recording software for streaming and these videos for YouTube. And um, yeah, I'm trying to figuring out some, um, some, some of the benefits of that. Or maybe I change something later on. But for now, I think it's a great setup. I'm also using now my old D90 Nikon DSLR as a webcam. So there's maybe a much better quality, I hope so. Um, maybe I exchange the camera for a, a new better webcam, but for now this will do it. And yesterday I'm, I was trying out some uh, streams. I was gaming, um, playing Battlefield and recording and streaming Battlefield. And I wanted to test out the performance and yeah, some settings. You have to set up the right bitrate and so on. And um, but after a while, I switched over to Bitwig and streamed a lot of um, yeah, Bitwig tests, experiments, and so on. And there was uh, some guys joined in and uh, asked some questions. I answered some questions and we talked about yeah, Bitwig and uh, some of the uh, topics in the stream. And the reason for that is I want to share you um, this recording of the stream from yesterday because I streamed it on Twitch. And on Twitch, I usually want to just stream gaming and some non-relative polarity stuff. And I want all the audio or polarity stuff here happening here on, on YouTube. So this is just the intro um, because I have a new setup now and um, I'm using new software and I want to show you the stream from Twitch yesterday. I think it's uh, three hours or something. But the next stream uh, of Bitwig will happening here on YouTube. And if you subscribed with the bell icon, I think you will get a notification of the next stream. And um, yeah, we will see how this is going in the future. Uh, maybe I make longer streams or shorter streams with a, a tight topic or I will accept some uh, presets or samples from the viewers and try to um, yeah, make something with it or include in, integrate it into my current uh, song idea. Um, something like this. A chill, nice stream with Bitwig. Um, some experiments, um, some nice talking, something like this. Um, yeah. But now I want to show you the raw stream from yesterday and I want you to enjoy it. And yeah, I will see you in the next, next stream, hopefully here on YouTube. So enjoy it. Bye.
Ja, da wird auf jeden Fall noch mehr kommen. Das ist nicht der... Das ist nicht das Ende. So, jetzt mal rein. Okay. Gute Behauptung, aber ja. Ich denke, Bitwig äh, kommt noch. Lass dem mal noch ein bisschen Zeit. Wir haben gute Ideen. Ich könnte ja hier das irgendwie mixen. Ähm Was? Oh ne, ja falsch. Why not? Thank you. 
Okay. Chill out. <lacht> Chill out stream. Nice. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh.
Yeah, it's okay. I need to learn some shortcuts again. Muscle memory and so on. But it's okay. Ah oh yeah, thanks. I haven't even installed all my plugins and VSTs, so it's just Bitwig only. But for now it will be okay. Some of the init presets are still not not the right way. So save as default preset. I don't like using uh, touchpads or trackballs. <laughs> mm. Most of the hotkeys are the same on Windows and Mac. Um, the only difference is the Windows key and the control key is exchanged on the keyboard. So it's a bit weird. Sometimes copy and paste ends in opening the start menu here. Yeah?
exactly. Every time I want to copy and paste something, I'm opening accidentally the start menu. But I will learn it. Still too loud. I need to install my. Uh, Contact libraries. I need some nice percussions. But for now, I have to use the eTom. <laughs> Or maybe just the e-kick. Let's go with that. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I change it for some multi-touch monitors. That could be great, yes. But I have to try it before I buy it, right? So maybe I'm not so much into touch. I mean, I like iPads and stuff like this, but working on an, on a touch screen, uh, it's maybe not my thing.
maybe I stop this whole thing here with the transport. Um, transport playing. Um, Easy. No, it's a new patch. But all my patches are sound the same. So, probably yes. <laughs> Usually I stream on YouTube, but the day I was gaming and then I switched over to Bitwig. So I think the next time I will streaming, I will stream a music stream on YouTube. But it's the, it's the first test, test run. First test run with the new computer. Yeah. <laughs> This guy, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty... It's pretty nice now, with the CPU load. So, what do I do now with this patch here? Yeah. New polycrit? Uh, maybe some distortion, but only um, on the top frequencies. Sure. Let's try it. Sharp one. Kitsch reverb. Yeah, kitsch verb. Kitsch verb. That's what I need. Thank you. 
already set it to random. And every time the sound will be different. And that's what I like. Eighties. Okay, I want to use the, uh, the mod wheel. What's the mod wheel? CC1? Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's easy one.
Yeah, it's my third project on a new PC. Unfiltered audio lion is out. What's unfiltered unfiltered audio lion? Unfiltered audio lion. Packs of synthesizers. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, it's a modular synth, basically what we have with the grid. A bit different, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. You can make techno. That's great. And it's modular. Okay. And the price is? No price. Only subscription. <laughs> no. Can just try it and then they reveal the price. Something like this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Biomos, just an FX, modular FX. And now you have an oscillator, basically. But they could it's implement it in the biome BST. Would be great. But now they can sell two BST plugins. Yeah, you can do the same in the grid, of course. Maybe not everything. Uh, with the same workflow, but you can achieve same things. But it looks like everyone moves into the direction of modular. I can see um, Logic or Apple is implementing something like this in Logic. Or maybe Native Instruments is doing something new next week. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just saving this and ah. So, streaming for five hours now. Nice. Yeah, they got reactor, but I think they need at least some kind of arranger. This would be nice. So reactor is nice um, when they attach something like Bitrecast with a arranger or a clip launcher or something like this. This would be nice with a nice sleek integration. This also would what what Bitwig misses, where you can modulate some things in in the inside the DAW, like tempo or um, stuff like this. Yeah, this could be also happening. Uh, buying an existing DAW possible.
Yeah, it's good as an VST, but uh, think about deeper integration. Um, I can, can do more stuff, not just having an VST and what you have to, to buy or people have to buy. Um, I think most of the people wouldn't buy the grid if it was an external instrument or something like this. But I think a lot of people just trying the grid because it's inside Bitwig now. So what we have here. I have no nothing installed on this PC. There's no VST, nothing. No samples. some presets Yeah, this VCV rack is also nice to combine with Bitwig. Yeah, yeah, the workflow is very important. Also, the packaging, pa uh, packaging when you have like a combined package of um, use cases. So now, um, when you want to have modular environment, you have to first buy some um, uh, DAW and then you have to buy another package reactor maybe or VCV rack or something like this but with Bitwig you get a modular environment and you get an audio workstation where you can arrange stuff and you only have one product to buy So for instance, I could make some uh, patches for a reactor, but not everyone has reactor installed. Yeah, also reactor is more aimed towards uh, people that really want to, to pro program stuff or build um, VST quality kind of uh, instruments. The grid is more like uh, for people that want to make music and maybe never touch the modular environment or in visual visual um, programming language. And it has a lot of bugs also. I try to uh, try to uh, get some things done in in the reactor and discovered even for myself some bugs and. Um, workflow or the onboarding or when you are new to reactor it's not so nice you have to read a lot of stuff and uh, have to n know exactly what you do yeah I also think a lot of people don't know about Bitwig even that it's sometimes on some blocks, but uh, um, there are still not people knowing Bitwig and they don't know what you can achieve with it. So that's that's why it's important that, um, that we have a lot of content on the net. That's why I'm making a lot of videos, um, producing presets and stuff so people can see what you can do with it. Or I try my best at least to um, showcase all the um, possibilities with with Bitwig.
Yeah, maybe a whole generation of new producers. So 10 years, yeah. Could be could be right. A lot of people laughed at uh, Ableton when it came out came out back in the days. It's you could just loop some wave files and that's it. But now everyone uses it. In fact, it formed all the the music styles, EDM and so on. Everyone uses it. I was surprised that Brian Inno uses Logic, to be honest. <laughs> Bitwig user base middle aged? Okay. Yeah, that's. That's interesting, yes. Yeah, I use some kind of script, uh, VST or something like this, where you, you code some uh, rules for the nodes and so on. Looked interesting. Yeah. But it makes sense. Um, music like this, where you have generative approach, um, a programming language makes makes good sense. I think you are uh, two times faster than um, creating a graph or something like this in Bitwig uh, when you make music like this. Um, coding can be much faster. <coughs> I hope or I'm pretty sure that we get um, some kind of um, coding um, device inside Bitwig. Maybe I'm not 100% sure, but I think something along the line of a coding environment that would be great. I mean, uh, Steinberg created VST. I mean, it's not um, it's not impossible for Bitwig to create something similar. So you can uh, open source maybe the SDK or something like this. Um, this would be nice, so where you can create uh, devices for Bitwig and. Um, yeah, publish the SDK and other DOS can implement the same SDK and you can use devices in all different DOS.
Yes, an, an app store or a preset store inside Bitwig would also be really great, where you can sell some devices, maybe one euro, one dollar, small, small prices, small devices inside Bitwig. That would be attract a lot of uh, developers, maybe, or musicians. Yeah, could be true. I think a lot of people hoped for a more serious environment where they can create instruments in Bitwig. I mean, the crit is pretty nice. I really love it. But it's not an environment for creating serious instruments I mean uh, if you look at the Gridvik um, channel in Discord a lot of people just want to dive in deeper make more uh, low level stuff but maybe we get new modules new interesting low level modules I don't know Yeah, interface. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> A nice, clean, easy to use interface builder. Or maybe just when you create a preset that you can attach a small background image or something like this that you can just uh, make it um, a bit special. Give me the up.
Using node sidechain to modulate its own parameters. Self modulate the appreciator. No, I haven't used that or tried this. So you are pretty old then. Neun mal elf. <laughs> Fairlight is pretty old. Seventies. Um. Control L. Thank you. 
All we need now is a kick drum. That's the truth. One kick drum. Rent to own. I think that's what it's called, and I like it. Can use it until you paid everything, and then you own it. Okay, let's look for some hats. Hi, hat. Ah, oh, maybe go with this. Yeah, why not? Uh, 
Self-playing, self-playing arpeggiator. So it uses the output of the uh, of this arpeggiator to modulate um, the amount of random one, and random one modulates some of the okay. <laughs> Cheesy, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Iso. Nice one. Let's see if I can integrate it. Um. Um, let's go with this.
Club. heavy fade in.
I will soon close the stream. I'm streaming for six hours now. I'm pretty tired. So, but I will streaming again. Um, maybe next time on YouTube. I don't know what's better for music. Maybe I stream to both services. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> mm. 
hoffe, bis nächstes Mal auch dabei. Ja, yeah, I will do that. Ja, yeah, as I said, I'm always on YouTube streaming on YouTube, but this time I was trying on Twitch. First time making music here. Uh, normally I do gaming streams here just for friends. But today I switched to Patrick after gaming. But next time I will stream on YouTube and everything is set up there. Links and so on. Ah, yeah, this could be nice. Oh, there's no pre roll one. Okay. <clears throat> GG. Drums. So, uh, the synths. <clears throat> and I clone this tool device to the synth oh. synth group here. <laughs> Bitwig Critwig
Okay, just one sound and then uh, that's it. Just one sound. is too high.
Ja, 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 ja. That's it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, six hours now. Nice. Next time on YouTube. See you guys. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.